Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Omati. In this video, we will see how Chat GPT is helping us in business central development. So, what we will be doing is we will be uh, asking questions from Chat GPT and um, let us see how it is helping us. Okay, and also if it shows us any code, we will just try to put that code in the uh, air, that is Visual Studio code and see whether it is really working out. Okay, customer table in business central development let us see what it is here is a sample customer table for business central development uh oh okay so let us give very clearly that i need it in um, okay so it is showing i think it is showing the um it is showing the overview let us see let us just rephrase this create a customer table in al program for business central development let us see what it is showing great so it is starting from the table so this is what we want right so table 50100 customer okay so it is showing number name contact <coughs> data classification address field uh, sorry city postal code uh, phone number okay um credit limit balance great and it is also creating a key great as a number and it is explaining us that what it created this al code defines the customer table includes its field uh and primary key okay so let us try to copy this code okay let us copy this code and create a new um file okay so customer dot al customer table AL. okay so let us just copy this code but definitely it will throw error because the data classification is only uh, that is it has its own classification right like account data customer content end user identify identifiable information so these are all the classifications which we have uh customer one let us give like customer one okay only the data classification to be uh, changed right so so to be classified okay so other than that if you wanted uh, like uh, for example if you want something more in table okay so we can also uh, ask it okay for example if you want a <coughs> table with a specific set of fields so you can tell what are the fields you want okay so let us write uh, so i want uh, sorry so i want a customer table okay customer table in al program with a uh, number uh, customer name contact address um postal code so i don't want contact i just want it as a phone number okay phone number um address postal code <coughs> I want email ID okay email ID and yes credit limit balance okay credit limit and balance as fields okay as fields I can tell this is a fields and I want a number and a phone number to be a key okay like uh, the number should be like that okay the customer should be unique so i want um fields i want a customer number and phone number as key key okay and then the data's classification to be uh, should be Should be to be classified yes that is what right to be classified so we i can also give like completely like to be classified okay so to be classified 
for business central development okay uh, i think i don't want to give this business central development anything else if you wanted to add okay so you can add that as well so i'm just uh, pressing enter so let us see what it is showing um <clears throat> Okay, field one, we, this is what we asked for, that is one, that is uh, uh, number, customer name, phone number, because we are very specific about the phone number, address, postal code, <coughs> email ID, this is I want, this is what I want, credit limit, balance, and keys should be number and phone number great right so we have to be specific we have to be very specific if we are we need something uh, from ai because since chat gpt is an ai okay it is it will be giving us code uh, whatever it learns okay so if you if we give this so let us see why it is showing okay customer one let us make it as customer one and then uh phone number is what here right okay phone number so what is the thing it's expecting something okay so yeah this is because it just uh left a semicolon so that is why it shows error but few uh errors no we have to just uh, find out okay so this is for customer table right so we have created the customer table so let us create an another let, let us let us create a page here okay so let us create a page so um, create a cart page for cart page for the above customer table okay uh, in AL programming okay so I think we don't want to be very specific about it L let us see like what it is uh, uh, showing okay so this is for customer table opening okay like uh, yes page card it's showing a page card so is this a customer great it's showing all these things okay but um what what happens is what like it will just uh, show as that is it will create as a simple customer card okay if you want some actions to be performed if you want something to happen there then you have to specifically tell like how you have to uh, how uh, you need the output so for example create a customer card page for the above customer table with a action in it the action should display a message uh, successfully saved once the um, okay successfully saved okay that's, that's it uh, we don't want to be very specific I think so let us see what it is trying to show us okay the, so the same thing but what I asked that particular uh, chat GPT to do is what I need a um, action. Okay, so in that action, it should display a message. So we should be very particular about this, like what type of uh, uh, action should perform. Okay, what are the things which we needed? Okay, so it is creating an action here and it is mentioning that it's safe and it's also validating the trigger on okay so here we can see that the actions is not actually correct okay and here it should be record dot email id it above the card page in business central wave 2 version 10 Let us see what it is showing okay uh, this is because we are using the, the reason one is with the wave to right so let us see whether it is writing it correctly uh, okay again it is missing record dot number record dot customer name record dot phone number okay record it is missing the record let us see whether the actions is clear okay the action part should be very clear right 
Uh, let us see. Um, okay, this is also wrong because in uh, actions part we cannot use run save. Okay, we have to go ahead with the trigger uh, on run or trigger. So okay, so again it is showing the uh, message like this. That is a code like this. But what is the snippet we have under the actions? We need one more thing called area, right? So if you just copy this code. And paste it here you can see this is customer car customer one that is what we have written and all these things should be record then only it will go and find out the exact uh, record from the table so it should be record 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 okay record dot phone number okay record dot balance and everything okay and here and if you see the uh, snippet okay so inside that action it should be uh, area processing okay so processing and under that the action should come okay action save this should come and then you can see that here uh, uh, this tr run save is not allowed here it should be trigger on action um it should be like okay message okay so trigger on action it should be begin it should uh, it should be inside begin and end so message save successfully should be in begin and end so this is what and it should not be inside double quotes it should be inside the single quotation so what uh, uh, mistake we are seeing is uh, it is giving you the outline okay that is outline of the um, uh, table or page or anything but it is not giving us with a complete uh, structure so few things which are missing here like record it doesn't add it and it doesn't add any area processing action and inside that it should be under the trigger so it, it is not showing up the trigger and it okay so this is what uh, uh the the issue with uh ai okay so because you know it cannot exactly brings up like what we are expecting but if we are expecting something more for example if i wanted to validate the phone number then that too i have to give it specifically okay so we can write um in the same code here write the uh, okay create a uh, create a card page okay and validate info customer table with the action in it validate every field okay i'm just giving validate all the fields uh, uh, in such a way that it should not uh, accept the um, null values or blank blank okay so let us just stop with this and I'm just entering here let us see what it is generating okay uh, I have given that it has to validate all the fields right so um, great validate customer or number greater than okay okay so you have to give the complete um, instructions over there and uh, okay so if you want to make that particular field mandatory then that too you have to give for example if you want to make the number and all the fields mandatory then you have to give that as well in okay so let us just try to give the same thing with um, uh, making all the fields make all the fields mandatory okay so the same thing it will show up but with some add-ons into it like it will make the 
um, field mandatory let us see whether it is exactly finding out the mandatory okay mandatory is equal to true okay just copy and paste it over uh, the AL code and like Visual Studio code and see how it is working. Okay, so let us copy the code here. Okay, uh, open it and try to let us try to paste it. So you should be very careful about uh, your specification. Okay, like mandatory or whatever it may be. So you should be very careful about it. So whenever you you are trying the code, okay. Um, so you have to write it. And what is the problem with this? Because I think there is no validate property in fields. Okay, you don't have any validate like properties in fields. So let us first go and check like what it is exactly showing up. And yes, the property validate cannot be used in the context AL. So what is exactly the property we can use it here? So you can see what are the properties which we have. So blank number. See instead of uh, telling that blank, you can make it as blank zero, blank numbers. Okay, and uh, other than that, few prop properties are directly available. Okay, few properties are directly available here. Okay, so you can use that instead of trying this if you wanted to validate this okay even there is no mandatory property here okay so i have already discussed about how to add the mandatory field there fine and also how to validate it so if you want to do that you can write a trigger over here okay so on validate trigger so inside that validate trigger you have to write all these things okay so you have all the uh, possible functions to write it and for the mandatory field you can write it directly so for that you can um, simply tell not blank is equal to true which means that it will uh, make it mandatory okay exact code okay from chat pt to business central so you have to do some few changes over here and directly copying from chat gpt to business central is not possible so you have to apply some basic knowledge okay so we discussed in this video about a table and page how it exactly working out so probably if you want to know more how it is working in the procedure how it is working with reports how you can work with events and subscribers uh, in business central please leave your comments so that i can create an, another video with chat gpt how it is working exactly thank you take care bye bye